to another Brand Doctor podcast episode for you guys. Today, we're going to be talking all about hashtags, and I have a hashtag expert with me today because here's the deal. I don't know it all when it comes to social media marketing. I don't, I've, I've been getting some great results with Instagram. We're growing about 3,000 new followers a week, uh, all organically through influencer marketing and just through people sharing the content and things are going really, really well. But I'm always looking for tools and tactics to help throw that gas on the fire to kind of rev things up uh, even more. So I'm sure some of you guys that have been listening to me for quite some time um, heard me talk about this platform called Flick, F-L-I-C-K, right? I've been using them now for about six months, really, really intuitive and really comprehensive platform to help me pick the right hashtags and find the right hashtags that are going to connect and resonate with my target audience. So I have the pleasure today to actually have one of the co-founders of the software with us to help us navigate the software a little bit better and to help you understand the power behind Flick. So without further ado, I want to introduce my man, Loic Brown, to the show. What is going on, my man? Uh, thank you so much for the lovely int introduction. Thanks for having me on the show. I'm really excited to be here. Um, and I, I can't wait to, to share some of the insight um, that we've been gathering um, over the last 18 months of, of doing this with you. I love it, audience. man. I love it. Let's check this out. Let's start here. Why did you create Flick in the first place? Um, yeah, that's a re really good question. So um, before jumping into the world of sort of software as a service, um, I um, personally used to manage accounts for clients. So I used to be a social media manager um, and I also ran an agency. Um, and a lot of my time was spent um, optimizing um, uh, people's growth and account growth. And of that time, a big proportion was on hashtag research, which I had to do manually all the time. So when the opportunity presented itself to build a tool um, that would allow us, uh, myself, to, to sort of streamline that process, it was sort of like a no-brainer uh, to sort of design the tool for myself that would be super useful. Um, and then um, down the line, we figured out that actually a lot of people would want a tool like this. Um, and we, um, myself and my partners, quit the agency um, and we just focused on developing this tool and bringing it to uh, as many people as possible. Phenomenal. So that's sort of. You yeah. had a need, you had a pain, you had a challenge. You create this software to sort of fix that. And then it turns into Flick, which now thousands of users are, 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 are using this platform on a daily basis. So awesome stuff. So let's get into Flick and what it actually does. What is the benefit of using a software like Flick for your Instagram growth? Yeah, perfect. So um, there's a few benefits. Um, and I'll, I'll start off with the most obvious one, which is time. Um, for anyone who's um, uh, familiar um, with um, sort of Instagram and, and trying to grow on, on that platform, um, you, re you really quickly realize how much time it takes to, to, uh, if you really want to uh, optimize your growth. And um, Flick is essentially um, allows you to um, shave, you know, your hashtag research time from a couple hours a week, maybe two, three hours to um, maybe 10 minutes um, when you're doing it, uh, when you're doing it right. Um, so that's the first benefit. The second benefit is um, a lot of people who sort of um, have experience um, working with hashtags or are, or, or are coming into uh, working with hashtags for the first time um, have this feeling of, sort of taking a shot in the dark. They have no idea um, which hashtags um, are more likely to work for them. And it's sort of like a guessing game. Um, you know, you might try 30 hashtags here and 30 hashtags there. And one of the goals behind us developing Flick was to gradually take that guessing away um, by providing uh, insights into uh, which hashtags are more likely uh, to work for you um, through stats um, and through uh, sort of analyzing trends um, in our user base as well. I mean, listen, if you put the right message in front of the right people, that's where the magic happens. And <clears throat> I'll, I'll admit, you know, I have a lot of engagement on Instagram right now. And a lot of people reach out to me asking me how I grew my account so large and how, how I'm monetizing the Instagram account. 
right? How am I taking them from follower to paid customer into high ticket customer, right? Mm -hmm. And when I do a brief audit of that person's Instagram account, who's in, in, inquiring about using Instagram for business and growing it, I see a few things right off the bat. One, I see no hashtags being used whatsoever. <clears throat> That's problem number one. And number two, I see hashtags being used very incorrectly. So can you talk about how hashtags are being used incorrectly so some folks that are watching and listening can get a better understanding of how to use hashtags and then we'll dive deep into how Flick can help with that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the biggest mistake that I see when uh, uh, around hashtags is, well, firstly, not using them. That's a massive mistake um, because it's basically free traffic to your page um, and hyper-targeted traffic. Uh, but other than that, the, the other big mistake is um, people think that um, using very, very popular uh, hashtags um, is good for their page. And uh, I'll illustrate this with an example. Let's say you're posting about, um, you know, um, entrepreneurship um, and your account is maybe um, a couple thousand followers uh, in size and you're going to try and use a uh, hashtag entrepreneur or hashtag entrepreneurship, which is used by millions and millions of people uh, on Instagram um, and hundreds of thousands of posts every day. Um, and the thought process behind people who do this is, this is a really big hashtag. A lot of people use it. That means a lot of people are going to go onto it and more people are going to see my content. Now, actually, that's not the case at all. Um, what happens, um, and for those of you um, who are familiar with SEO, it's very similar. Um, if you're trying to compete uh, on a keyword or a hashtag that um, is too competitive for you, um, you're going to get drowned out and no one's going to see your content. So I think the biggest piece of advice um, that we can give uh, to people listening is um, focus on um, finding relevant hashtags uh, to your content, but make them uh, make sure that they're not the first ones that come to mind and make sure that they're slightly um, niched, niched down into maybe a specific subsection of entrepreneurship that's more relevant to your posts, uh, where you can really uh, target uh, your audience uh, with great precision. And also you stand a bigger chance of, uh, of a ranking um, or um, being featured on those hashtags. I love it. There was a, I had somebody on the podcast yesterday, Nate Woodbury, he's a big YouTuber. And he was talking about when you're creating content for YouTube, look at it as a tree. The heavy stuff is the trunk, right? And then you have some sub information. That's the best thing I can come up with right now. But like you have some, some sub content that are like the branches and then you have the really detailed questions that people are asking, and those are the leaves. And if you could create content around those questions and create more leaves, right, that's going to grow your, your social tree, right? And I think that's Absolutely. kind of what you're saying, like, don't use the real popular hashtags because, again, they're, you're just going to get blown into the wind. But if you take hashtags that are small to medium, let's say 15 or 20,000, yep. maybe 50 to maybe 250,000. And then, you know, it goes up from there for a pretty competitive hashtag, would you say? Absolutely. Uh, and I think uh, the, the, key, the key thing there is also you can scale these with your growth. So as you're growing your account, every, you know, uh, depending on how quickly you're growing, but every couple of weeks or every couple of months, um, you can sort of reevaluate and say, okay, now I'm more competitive and I can go and try and challenge for these slightly, slightly broader hashtags. However, when doing that, it's important to always remember, as you said, you still want those leaf, uh, uh, those leaves there and you want to hyper target with, um, with smaller hashtags. So in this case, in hashtags, um, bigger isn't always better. And I think that's one of the key things to remember. That's a great, great point. So now I love what you said before about thinking of hashtags that don't necessarily come to mind right away. And this is where I love Flick, okay? Because when I use Flick, I type in a keyword 
and it gives me a rundown of hashtags that are relative to that keyword. It also tells me how large that hashtag is. It'll give me like 87,000 posts or 100,000 posts or 1.3 million posts are used with this hashtag. But some of these hashtags are gold because I would have never thought of them in a million years to use. So this is one of the advantages of using a software like Flick. Absolutely. Uh, and it's one of the biggest time savers. And um, the next question we usually get is, how do I know what hashtag is good for my account? Right? Um, what hashtag size is good for my account? Um, well, it was a question that we got so much that we actually built in a feature uh, to solve. Um, so um, when you connect Flick to your Facebook account, um, Flick analyzes your Facebook account and actually su suggests search filters so you don't even need to worry about sort of understanding the different sizes of hashtags you need. All you do is you activate the suggested filters and then you just uh, need to think of a few relevant keywords to start, start your search with. And from there, uh, Flick will do the rest for you. One thing I love about Flick is a lot of these softwares, they're either good on desktop or they're good on mobile. They're not good on both, right? And I have to say, Flick on desktop is very comprehensive. So it will tell you how popular that hashtag is. It'll tell you where, how it ranks, right? Um, it will tell you how many people are, are, are using it on a daily basis. That's something that's very, very important to pay attention to. Um, this is valuable information because this is going to help you get really laser focused on your target audience. And you've heard me preach and, 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 and talk about this in nauseam, how important it is to speak to one profile or one type of customer at a time, because that is going to be much easier when it comes to marketing and branding your business. So this is super helpful to get this data uh, basically mined from, from, from Flick because now you're dialing in exactly to the hashtag that a majority of your niche audience is using and now you can put that message right in front of them. And again, that's where the magic happens. And the time saving is just incredible. Like I've done it both ways. I've done it manually where I just type in hashtags in Instagram and I watch Instagram sort of populate what's around that particular hashtag and I'll choose them, right? That takes me literally close to five to eight minutes to do. Now, if you know anything about posting, it's crucial that like the first five minutes of your post gets the most engagement, gets the most reach, right? Uh, so if you're spending that time trying to find hashtags, that time's going by and nobody's really seeing the post until those hashtags hit. So having Flick, it's like boom, and you're off to the races. So one of the questions that one of my clients had when I put them on to Flick was what's the long-term ROI for using Flick? Because once you, I could hear him right now saying, okay, I could get used to this real quick. I could, I could create collections. You could create collections of hashtags, right? You could save them and send them to yourself, right? Once I have a dozen hashtag collections, like why do I need Flick anymore? So I, was, I thought it was a really good question. And I, I'm, I'm happy that you're here today to kind of answer that from the horse's mouth. It's a really, really good question. And, and it's actually one that we've heard countless times. Um, so up until now, um, what we used to tell our users is that we refresh the data on our hashtags um, um, every, depending on the hashtag, every uh, three days to seven days, roughly. So one of the benefits of obviously uh, using Flick in the long run and the ROI is you can keep tabs on which hashtags increase in popularity, decrease in popularity, um, which ones are flagged or banned is also monitored uh, by our system. So it's sort of your ongoing sort of personal assistant when it comes to hashtags. Um, now, uh, it turns out that people actually wanted a bit more information than that um, to justify this long-term ROI. And this is something we, 
um, it's the first time actually um, I mention it um, uh, publicly, um, but we've been working on it uh, for the past couple of months. Um, and essentially, um, we'll be launching end of January, beginning, beginning of February 2019, uh, 2020, sorry. Um, and uh, what, what it is, is essentially um, going forward, Flip will be able to tell you um, which particular hashtags um, you've ranked on for each of your posts. So you'll know um, go, uh, for each post, say you have a set of 30 hashtags, um, you might, have, um, you might get a lot of impressions um, from those hashtags, but up until now, there's no way of knowing which hashtags generated the bulk of the impressions. Um, when we release this feature, you'll start to be able to track for each post, for each individual hashtag, which ones performed and which ones didn't. And then you get this ongoing, um, this ongoing monitoring of what's working, what's not, so you can constantly tweak and refine your strategy. And there is absolutely no more sh shooting in the dark. There's no more guesswork. You'll know exactly what's worked and what's not. And you're going to sort of start bringing these A-B testing practices from marketing um, into what you're doing with hashtags and optimizing your strategy there. That feature alone is worth its weight in gold. We, I cannot, certainly, we certainly hope so. <laughs> I cannot wait for that to, to, to roll out because that is going to help tremendously, tremendously. <clears throat> I, I did notice, I, I, I started to take notice of this recently, where if you have, a, I believe, a business account on Instagram, uh, every time you post, there's a little button that says view insights of that post. And a lot of times people just like open it and see like the data that's right there. They forget to scroll down. I'm guilty of this. If you scroll down a little bit, it will tell you the impression, how many impressions that this, this post made, how many of those impressions came from hashtags, Hashtag. right? Absolutely. And I think that's very important because if you post and you use, you know, a handful of hashtags and you get 400 people, right? That's not a lot in the scheme of things, right? Especially if you have a larger account like mine, it's, it's not a lot. You're saying to yourself, well, why would I use those hashtags? Why, you know, I need to analyze these, this group of hashtags and, and decide whether or not they're effective. And so Absolutely. these are, you know, Instagram gives you like a, gives you like the little taste, right? Yeah. But platforms like Flick give you the deeper rooted answers and and the the knowledge and the analytics that you need to go the extra mile and i think if you want to win in 2020 it's all about going that extra mile it's always it's going the, the 200 extra feet deeper into everything that you do not just hashtag strategy but everything that you do to really win and compete in in today's in today's world absolutely and and to add to that I think it's also important to stress that although Flip was initially built for uh, Instagram experts uh, in mind, um, more and more now the platform is becoming really user friendly for someone who, who knows nothing about hashtags so that you can come on and as part of this release as well, what we're working on is you'll come on and Flip will sort of guide you through the whole process. I will even suggest hashtags um, that may work well for you will sort of tell you which hashtags you should continue using, which ones you shouldn't. And it's sort of, all you need to do then is um, uh, click a few buttons and it'll be done for you. Um, and that's what we're trying to, to go towards. I love it, dude. So let me tell you as a, as a customer, how impressed I was <clears throat> to see the customer service of this software. So right before the holiday, I get an email from Flick saying, hey guys, uh, hey Henry, I, 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 we noticed that you use the platform on mobile quite a bit and we would love to set up a conversation with you to see how we can best help you maximize and optimize the usage of Flick. Would you be interested in setting up a call completely free? And I was like, this is a no brainer. So I, I, I reached back out. I said, yes, absolutely. They send me a calendar link. I set a, a call up. I get Loic 
that day on the other line. <clears throat> not a customer service rep, not somebody that works for the company, freaking one of the co-founders that I'm talking to. And that, I was very impressed by that, number one. Number two, Loic was so worried about how I was using it, what I was using it for, how effective it was, all the way down to what I was being charged per month and wanted to know everything so that he can help me use this platform at maximum speed, at maximum potential. And that I said, and he spent like over an hour with me. And I was like, wow, this is the differentiator between brands. This is how brands like Flick stand out in the marketplace. And what did that lead to? It led to me staying on the platform longer because I, I told him when I got on the call, listen, I know that I'm only using maybe 20% of, of this platform for the past six months and I don't know if I want to continue to use it anymore. I'm, true story. And he was like, well, I appreciate you telling me that. And I would love to know why. And then I gave it, I, I let him know, I let him have it. And he, he told me, this is, this, is, this is brilliant. So he shares screens with me because it's a Zoom call. And he literally starts showing me how to use Flick on desktop, which I haven't used probably since I've gotten Flick. And I start to see all the benefits of using Flick on desktop. And I was, getting, I was getting excited. I was like, there's no way I can cancel this subscription. Look what he just showed me. So customer service and Flick, if, if, you, if I had to explain Flick in one sentence or a one word, I'd say phenomenal customer service. So if you're stuck, if you're, you just feel like you're lost when it comes to this stuff, feel free to reach out to them because they Absolutely. are very responsive. And I don't know if you'll get Loic, but you'll get somebody that's very knowledgeable that is going to help you get through that. And so I, I wanted to publicly acknowledge that and, and tell you how impressed I was with your customer service. I really appreciate the kind words. Thank you, Henry. Thank so you. I'm going to uh, put in the description, this will probably go on YouTube too. So check, check in the description on iTunes and YouTube, um, the link to Flick. Uh, I will send you a personal link and have you sign up and try it. There's a seven day free trial, right? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So you could try it for seven days, get your feet wet. Uh, that's your time to really reach out if you have any questions and, and, and get them, get the answers that you're looking for, because I'm telling you, I've been using it now. It's January, 2020. I probably signed up with Flick around July, probably. And it's been a tremendous asset to unique designs and branding for athletes. And, and there's no way I can cancel the subscription. That's how powerful it is. So I just want to let you guys know, because you guys are always asking me, like, what's the, what's, what are the tools you use? You know, give me some tricks, give me some tactics. And listen, here it is. Start using Flick today. Click that link in the description right now and sign up for that trial and I can promise you, you're gonna start winning and you're gonna start getting way ahead of the competition because they're still over there using no hashtags or using stupid hashtags that don't work or probably obsolete at this point. And you're getting the freshest of the fresh batches of hashtags every what, three to seven days. So Loic, my man, thank you so much for coming on the show today and just sharing your insights. I love getting founders like you on the show because, you know, people want to know how much you care. So this is done on purpose, but do you have any teasers for us for Flick in 2020? Like, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I do. I can, I can actually share my screen now. Um, if, um, if that's cool with you. Yeah. So the, 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 the listeners won't be able to see it, but the YouTube fam will. So go I'll, ahead. I'll, I'll narrate it uh, as we go as well, um, mm -hmm. for the listeners as well. Um, right, so um, 
what I'd love to show, show, show people who can, who can see the screen and the listeners, uh, I'm going to go into um, what is our beta version of the uh, tracking that I mentioned uh, earlier um, in, uh, in the, uh, in the uh, interview. So uh, I'll just go here um, and um, I will go over here. Um, so as part of tracking, we're releasing a whole analytics suite um, so for those familiar with stuff like Buffer, Later, um, and that sort of stuff, um, or Iconos Square, who give um, you, you a bunch of analytics around your audience, um, mm -hmm. we're, we're also doing that, and that will just be included as a little bonus free of charge. Um, now, however, in the content section, this is what I was talking about before. Over here is an account um, of one of my old clients um, that I still have access to, um, and over here, um, what you can see is each post uh, that she made um, recently. And then on the right over here, you have your, your basic insights, um, but you can also see exactly which hashtags she's actually ranked on over here, and then the ones that she didn't. And you can do that um, on each um, and, every, um, and every post. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. So the ones that you rank for, you want to continue to use. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. So um, what we what we're encouraging people to do is sort of um, try a hashtag, uh, you know, a few times um, when it's relevant, and then see how many times it's actually ranked. Um, and if you if you can spot a trend of uh, ranking on a hashtag um, for for long for multiple posts, then you should definitely keep using that hashtag and sort of save it so that whenever a post is relevant to it, you should definitely include it in there. Um, and the same goes to hashtags that you use many times, but you don't rank. You sort of want to um, uh, keep them aside and not use them. And currently, um, you know, you'd have to go through each post to sort of do that. But as part of the release, we'll actually also have sort of like a dashboard section, which will actually tell you, um, um, uh, we have a little sort of mascot inside our app. Um, for those viewing, he looks like this. And this, this person, we call him Flick Assistant, um, and he'll actually tell you uh, when you log in, these are the hashtags that um, we know work well for you now, these are the hashtags that don't. So you don't even need to go spot the trend, um, we'll do it for you. Um, and so that's what we're working on at the moment. That is incredible. That is incredible. That's awesome. That's awesome. So for you guys listening on iTunes or, or listening to the podcast, go check out the video version of this because it, it is so user friendly and it's so easy to understand you know i don't consider myself a super techie guy i really don't so you know for me to be able to see that in a split second and understand that is is incredible because a lot of these platforms do get a bit cumbersome uh and it's 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 a deterrent it's it is a deterrent because most entrepreneurs are not tech savvy and you know they need to stay in their lane and they don't want to get bogged down with tools that are hard to use. So look, man, I appreciate your time today. We were just about up. And uh, I, again, thank you so much for coming on the show and, and, and sharing your expertise with us and clarifying some of the questions that my audience had, along with sharing the benefits of Flick and how it's really going to help you optimize your Instagram account and help you build a better and bigger business in 2020. So thank you, my friend. Thank you so much, Henry. I've had great fun. It was a blast. Thanks. So there you have it, guys. Another episode in the books. Real quick, don't forget to subscribe. Write a little written review for me if you can. Those things fire me up. I, I have to say, I, I listen and, and read every single one of them. And if this was helpful, don't be bashful. Don't be shy. Please share it out. And uh, last but not least, we are now getting around 65,000 downloads a month. And if you are a business to business business and are interested in advertising on the Brand Doctor podcast, shoot me an email, info at unique designs with a Z at the end, not an S, dot net. And I will give you our rates because this is a strong, strong audience, very loyal. And uh, they are probably very much like you. They want to grow a profitable and reputable brand and they want to help as many people as they possibly can by doing it. So if you're interested in that, drop me an email and we'll have a conversation. Have an amazing day, guys, and I will catch you on the next episode. Take care.